Welcome back to Critics News. As it be now, they say that uh, the president of the country, whether they call uh, Bola Med Tinubu, have summoned some of the former president to come and help him who, as the country has failed woefully to meet up the expectations of the citizens. I begin call out to begin cry out, say that these people should come and help him who, either to give him advice. I don't know which one they are going to give him. So according to the information we got, they say that um, um, he summoned a former president of Basanjo, good luck Jonathan, and uh, <laughs> Buari of Daura. Mm -hmm. Buari of Daura, I don't gonna know because uh, this Buari, hmm, we had different types of Buari during his tenure as the president of the country. But I am now surprised that this Buari is still <laughs> going inside that sorok. You understand the thing where they talk? Uh, so I don't quite understand because they tell us see Buari don't buy. See, na fake Buari and um, kind of we believed. Uh, I'm still wondering where they are getting this Buari. Because I think say by now this Buari go don't run away. But we see the see Buari for now. Waiting the apple for this country, self so gone. Yeah, waiting the apple for this Nigeria. <laughs> I be no shock you. It shocked me, honestly. Now, they said that Obasanjo shunned the President Tinubu's Council of State meeting in Abuja as Buhari Jonathan attend. I will show now the video very quickly. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo was notably absent from the Council of State meeting being held at the presidential villa in Abuja. President Bola Tinubu is presiding over the first meeting of his administration on Tuesday. The, president, the meeting includes former President Muhammadu Buhari and good luck Jonathan in attendance with Yakubu Gowon and Abdul Salami Abubakar participating virtually. The council which advises the president on major policy decisions also compro, uh, comprises the vice president, senate president and top officials in Asorok. Now, this season comes just days after widespread protests against the economic hardship and the removal of fuel subsidies. Meanwhile, Sarah reporters reported today that President Bola Tinubu summoned the meeting of the Council of State comprising former leaders and top government officials to address pressing national issues. The statement had read, President Bola Tinubu summons Council of uh, State Gowon, IBB, Abdul Salami, Obasanjo, Jonathan, Buhari, others for a meeting. The Council of State consists of the following persons. The President, who is the Chairman, Vice President, who is the Deputy Chairman, or former President of the Federation, or former Heads of the Government of the Federation, or former Chief Justices of Nigeria, President of the Senate, Speaker of the House of Representatives, all the governors of the state of the federation, the minister of justice, and the attorney general of the federation, where all the people who are supposed to attend this very meeting, you know, I don't know what um, they wanted to discuss there. Maybe because of this uh, just uh, a concluded protest, you know, that has caused uh, a lot of wala inside the country. So I don't know whether this protest actually achieved its aim because the president did not outline or address any of the key issues that these uh, protesters was tabling you know for him to address he never addressed it until the 10 days elapsed so and i was wondering is the protest supposed to be continuous or just 10 days because these people will try to quench it since it is a limited protest until the days when the protest is scheduled to end end just like now that it has ended and your money come and he now feels that he is free. Although I've heard from different quarters that protests will continue in uh, uh, October 1st. But let's see how it goes. Let us see the meeting they had in Asorok.
Do you now see where the problem is coming from? Even the president himself who changed the national anthem from the one we know to this his own choice now doesn't even know how to recite it. I bet each and every one of you that none of these people in that cabinet or in that executive meeting knows how to recite this very national anthem. But if it were to be the old one, they know how to recite uh, the, 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 the old, is it? No, the new one. They know how to recite it, not this old one now. So I don't know what Tinubu has achieved since he changed this uh, uh, national anthem to his own. I don't know what he has achieved so far. I don't really know. I don't know. This people are on a don't tire. Now let me play you when they ask this man, whether Sheyi Law. They were asking him, say, <laughs> if it were to be another person, do you think that things would have been better? He said, no. Uh -huh. Just what? There are those who say if it was Peter Obi that was elected president, if it was Atiku Abubakar, they would have done better than what we are seeing today. No, no, nobody could have done better than what President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is doing today. So you think that what we are getting today is the best any leader can offer Nigeria as of now? President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has the best manifesto out of the three top candidates. And, and I challenge any of them to present their manifesto and, uh, and, and let us compare. And President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has stayed true to his manifesto. His processes are speaking in alignment to what he hopes to achieve. And I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. But at the same time, we know that, um, you know, the you're, you're, you're happy that Nigerians are hungry because it's those policies. You, you say you're happy with those policies. But those who say the policies are making some Nigerians more hungry. Well, like I said, I knew the pains that was going to come with some of these policies, mm -hmm. and I prepared myself for it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I, I must not put myself in, uh, in the shoes of every other person and assume that they will be able to bear the pain as much as I would. Oh, now they say, um, these are the defenders of um, Tinubu telling you that uh, he's happy with the way things are going inside the country. Shegi law. Any day when you come out now, and I go to the spray and money, no, now they suffer, you go still the support within the pioneer, now na you still the spray and money. When I continue, our bigotry in this country, and go finish us. I want to celebrate you. All those Lega Miami, I be Lega Miami, I be Legans. All those ones, so now they rush, they follow them, bang, bang, bang. They support them. Now them, they tell Tinubu, say, press, press them. Like bag of Gary, may water come off of their body. The other day here, now we hear say bandit brutalized Nigerian soldier, abduct wife, son, in uh, Niger State. Nobody is safe in this country again. Now, a Nigerian soldier identified only as warrant officer Suleiman has been attacked by bandit gang armed with sophisticated weapons. Now, they say that the incident was said to have occurred at the soldier's residence in Sabon Wuseta for local government area of Niger State on Tuesday. A source told Sarah reporters that the government officer had abducted Suleiman's wife and then the son. He is being treated at an undisclosed hospital in the state, the source added. According to some of his colleagues, the army personnel has few months to retire from service. W.O. Suleiman was attacked in his personal residence at Sabon Wuse in Tafa local government area on 6th August 2024 at midnight. After the attack, his wife and her son were kidnapped and nobody is aware of their whereabouts up till now. The soldier is one of those going to Oshodi in Lagos for the retirement training and he was once working for General Awai's wife. This is the kind of uh, payment, repayment that they give to military or even police personnel who have served this country. After serving the country, the country will now serve you. <laughs> what they have in stock for you. Nigeria, eh? Nigeria is not a, a fair place. It's not a fair place. A soldier who is about to retire. Look at the pains now that he's facing. Just because he's a Nigerian. Nigeria is an evil country. Until something is done. 
But when protests bust out now, now then they go still use, take the attack the protesters. Anyways, uh, as they proceed, so make I show now one of one more. <laughs> So this is the video of uh, these people going to Asorok to meet uh, uh, Buari there. I'll be meet Tunubu for the meeting that he has uh, summoned. Let me remove this uh, Sheyi Lord there. They are also have done too much. Anyways, there's something else I want to inform you about. They say anybody will be saying uh, police is suspecting residents. Say, but but let's not indeed there that police can bust into that place and raid it. <laughs> so now watch. And the police is talking on the basis of the raid they gave at uh, the NS, which is a Nigerian Labour Congress headquarters, where they packed all the books in their shelves and told us that it be like saying that the books and they are the read about the protests we happen inside the country. <laughs> These people there. Eh? Oh yeah, watch. Olumu Iwa Dejobi. Oh yeah, talk to us. Incidentally, with uh, our scientific analysis of certain information about this man yes, sir. we discovered that he's on the second floor of the labor house and we, with the nature of the case uh whether there is any authority or no authority is is a is a coordinated or a coordinated operation not only the nigeria police force what we take uh the lead when it comes to the issue of internal security we have been able to have a coordinated operation uh, the team comprising many security operations. So it was not a joint operation. Joint operation, well coordinated and planned strategically. It was so strategic. Uh, was and there I wouldn't a court know. order? Was there a court warrant? There are certain there are certain situations where we don't even need any warrant to do anything. We we have powers to. I'm sure you know. You are a lawyer. You know we have power uh, of ingress. That is power to break into a place at any point in time, at any time, at any day. If you notice of any criminal activity or criminals residing in a particular place. All right. So they don't talk um, anywhere within the suspect. Say criminals day, they, they can bust in there. So as police don't hear this one now, <laughs> get ready to be busted because police know they use ear. They hear about right. They will abuse it. That's their nature in Nigeria. All those uh, police, we don't know their left and right. They must abuse that right. Anyways, uh, Mr. Dejobi, please still warn your officers not to be doing anyhow. Because I know that they don't talk this one now. They say, ah, <laughs> we cannot boss in. If you boss my door in here, I'll say, I'll not do you anything. Of course, these people say cannot be trusted. If you even boss your house, come plant with you. No, no. Inside the room. Before you go wake up, self. Yo, but they don't tell you, they don't tell you, say, ah, see and here, see and here. Who will be our witness? And God help us. We'll go straight to another news. I bet Mona don't forget to share this video. Make other people they see them. Those people will want to send money to Nigeria, please um, use tap tap send and use my promo code to gain all the bonuses that is uh, accompanying the usage. My promo code is Critics News, all in capital letters. And then you are going to get five pounds. For those in uk five euros for those in europe ten dollars for those in canada and usa and 25 ed for those in dubai oh yeah we'll go straight to another news thank you